Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an evening of song. Tonight, the Purdue Varsity Glee Club will take the stage alongside the Morehouse College Glee Club, an historically black all-male college in Atlanta, which also happens to be my beloved alma mater. We are all so very happy. Yes. And in fact, I'll go off script and tell you, when I came to Purdue a year ago, and I heard the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, I said then, there will be a concert between the Purdue Varsity Glee Club and the Morehouse College Glee Club, and we're gonna raise the roof at Purdue. So this is that. Purdue University is committed to diversity and inclusion as exemplified in its long-standing pursuit of access and equity. Since our founding in 1869, Purdue has provided countless opportunities to the citizens of Indiana and the world. Today, we continue to coalesce around the values uh, of this institution by exploring and celebrating our shared excellence. This evening's events are both historic and symbolic. People from different backgrounds who share a commitment to music are coming together to bring you a spectacular presentation that exemplifies our programmatic theme for 2020, democracy, civility, and freedom of expression. Moreover, I have the honor of recognizing the first recipients of our essay, student essay uh, prize. This was a highly coveted uh, uh, prize for students, a highly competitive pool of essays. All participants shared thoughtful reflections and keen observations, as well as meaningful connections to their lived experiences both here at Purdue and beyond. The authors are undergraduate and graduate students from throughout the United States and the world. With 20 major programs represented, as well as a range of ethnicities, genders, sexualities, religions, political beliefs, and so on, the pool also reflects the, the dynamic diversity of our campus. Our, after a double-blind, student-driven evaluation process, four essays receiving the highest marks were identified. This evening, all four authors will receive a certificate as well as a $1,000 award. At this time, I would like to present the winners to join me on stage. Garrett Yvonne Cologne, doctoral student in rhetoric and composition. Emily Hoyt, a fourth-year undergraduate in Planetary Sciences. Emily. Congratulations to you. The photographer is hanging out over there. Haley Tang a second year undergraduate double majoring in mass communications and global studies. Haley. Slow on the uptake, okay. No, he got pictures earlier. Dion Jester Berry, a third year undergraduate in law and society, Dion. Thank you for congratulating our winners. It is now my pleasure without further delay to begin this spectacular affair. At this time, please join me in welcoming Dr. William Griffel, the Albert P. Stewart Director of the Purdue Memorial Musical Organizations and the Jack Calhoun Director of the Purdue Varsity Glee Club.
Thank you so much. What a thrill it is for us to have an opportunity to share the stage with an amazing glee club from Morehouse College. Uh, we've had an opportunity to spend the afternoon with them and uh, truly an incredible experience for uh, our members and to have an opportunity to share the stage with them tonight is quite the highest honor and we're thrilled to have that opportunity. Uh, the next song we'd like to sing for you, um, if you are not familiar with the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, uh, we are one of six ensembles as a part of Purdue Musical Organizations. This is the oldest ensemble, having been formed in 1893. We just celebrated our 125th anniversary uh, last fall, and uh, we're incredibly proud of the tradition that we uh, hold here on our campus, and we sing a wide variety of styles of music. Uh, and the next song we're going to sing is written by and composed by a contemporary composer, Norwegian composer, Ola Lielo. And this piece uh, reminded him uh, of the beauty of the northern lights. Uh, this is set in Latin to the Song of Solomon, which translates, beautiful my love, sweet and beautiful daughter of Jerusalem. This is Northern Lights.
Thank you. This next song features sophomore Cade Williams from Zionsville, Indiana. Uh, it's an original hymn by composer Sarah Adams, and the translation in Latin is, At the moment of death, my strength is from heaven. God helping, nothing shall be forever. Direct us, O Lord, to high places by narrow roads. Such is the path to the stars, ever upward. This is nearer my God to thee. Now we'd like to pay tribute to one of the greatest songwriters and performers of the 20th century. This is our tribute to Nat King Cole. For a ride in the air The monkey thought that everything was on the square The buzzer tried to throw the monkey off of his back But the monkey grabbed his neck and said Now listen Jack Straighten up and fly right Straighten up and stay right Straighten up and fly right Oh 
This next song features one of our seniors from right here in West Lafayette, Indiana, singing a song that was written by Harry Connick Jr. for the movie Sleepless in Seattle. This is Mitch Witt singing Wink and a Smile. I remember the days of just keeping time Of hanging around in sleepy town forever Back roads empty for miles Well, you can't have a dream and cut it to fit But when I saw you, I knew we'd go together With a wink and a smile Leave your own jalopy By the railroad track We'll get a hit Double dip, tip toppy to see Cadillac. Well, you can rev or run, but don't go slow. It's only green lights, and all right, let's go together with a wink and a smile. All right, here we go, everybody. Thank you. 
Rich Witt. Come back up, gentlemen. You don't see that every day. That sometimes can be a little creepy, but I hope you liked it. <laughs> this next song we want to sing for you is one that is often settles a lot of arguments that we have in our own rehearsals. In a group of tenor basses, you can tell that there's a lot of ego on stage. And this song, we found, will help us solve those many of those problems, and it's simply entitled The Glee Club. Thank you. This next song uh, features senior, senior Michael Myers and freshman Cooper Brooks. It's a traditional Appalachian song, uh, and the imagery for this text portrays those who have passed on, our mothers, our fathers, our children, and those who are still present on the earth calling to each other across eternity. This is Dars. Stars are shining, bright morning stars are rising, bright morning stars are rising. Day is a breaking in my soul. 
Thank you. This next song uh, is a song that was written by composer Huddy Ledbetter. Uh, and wrote, this uh, composer wrote some of the most beloved American songs when he performed and wrote mostly uh, folk and blues songs during the 1930s and the 1940s. And the story uh, that goes behind this is that Huddy uh, would call to his wife to bring him water um, when he was out working. And each time he would call her, he, it became a, a, a little bit of a bit between the two of them. And he started singing to her. And each time he sang to her, the, the melodies got even more elaborate in him calling to her to bring him water. This is entitled, Bring Me Little Water, Sylvie. This next song comes from the musical Jekyll and Hyde. This is Someone Like You.
All right, our final song is uh, its going to be the first time we've sung it this year. So you're the first one to catch a glimpse of this uh, beautiful and amazing chart. Uh, it's a song that was written by George and Ira Gershwin. Uh, but this one's got a little different slant to it. We sing quite a bit of uh, the barbershop tradition, a lot of the tenor bass choruses. Uh, there's a lot of arrangers doing this, this style of music. Uh, and it's really great and accessible and exciting for choruses like ours. Uh, it's an old favorite of ours that we used a, a number of years ago, but you're going to hear it for the first time in a number of years. This is Strike Up the Band. I can hear the drummers beat, the sound of a hundred marching feet, like soldiers waiting a command, I see the leader wave his hand, he's the man with the plan, come on strike it up, strike it up now, step it up man, you know how, strike it up, strike it up, strike it up. Come along, let's go. 
first beginning. Give it up for Purdue. Let me tell you a little bit about the Purdue Varsity Glee Club. First comprised of just 11 students in 1893, the members of the Purdue Varsity Glee Club are Purdue University's official ambassadors of song. 
By the mid-20th century, the group had grown in size and reputation through performances at presidential inaugurations and in audience, and an audience with Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. Today's members continue to entertain crowds both locally and internationally through specialty groups, full performances, and collaborative events. Now, what is my hope? My hope is that tonight, young black and brown bola makers will see the beauty and the majesty of the Purdue Varsity Glee Club and decide I want to be part of that glee club too. My Glee Club experience at Morehouse anchored much of my life and really set me ablaze in some magnificent ways. What I would say to our students is, our Glee Club is wonderful, and it is open, it is inclusive, and it wants you too. Hopefully you can see yourself there, and if you have any questions, just let me know and we'll talk. <laughs> Morehouse College. Since 1911, the Morehouse College Glee Club has been the premier singing organization of Morehouse College, a historically black institution in Atlanta, Georgia. Past members have performed alongside internationally acclaimed opera stars for packed Super Bowl audiences and even during the Olympic Games. Today, the gentlemen of the MCGC continue its tradition through tours in North and South America, as well as Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Dr. David Morrow, director of the Morehouse College Glee Club. Good evening. Good evening. We will sing two uh, sacred works. The first is Ascribe to the Lord by Rosephany Powell, arranged for tenor bass choir by her husband, William Powell. And next will be John Rutcher's setting of Lord, Make Me an Instrument of Thy Peace, uh, the wonderful uh, setting of St. Francis of Assisi. Uh, that will be conducted by our student director, Brian Evans and our accompanist is Joshua Barnes. Ascribe to the Lord, almighty ones, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name in the splendor of his holiness worship him. Ascribe to the Lord, almighty ones. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name in the splendor of his holiness worship him. Ascribe to the Lord, to the glory, to His glory in the splendor of His holiness. Worship Him. Ascribe to the Lord, to the glory, to His glory in the 
splendor of His holiness, worship Him. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. Ascribe to the Lord, to the glory, to His name, in the splendor of His holiness, worship Him. Ascribe to the Lord, to the glory, to His name, in the splendor of His Worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. The next piece we will perform is a seven movement work entitled The Seven Last Words of the Unarmed 
by Joel Thompson. Joel Thompson is an African-American composer, young man, who is from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, he is currently studying, he went to Emory University with undergrad degree in uh, conducting, I think, and uh, also in um, piano. But he also is a composer, a wonderful composer, and that's what he's studying at Yale University. And the interesting thing about the piece is this. It is based musically on the idea of the seven last words of Jesus on the cross, but differently in that these are the last words of seven African-American men who were killed unjustly. And so in his way to create this musical expression, he begins to personify and give some personhood to these, the words of these gentlemen. I'm thinking of a quote by Dr. King about music. He says, if you think for a moment, you will realize that they, musical styles, take the hardest realities of life and put them into music only to come out with some new hope or sense of triumph. This is triumphant music. While the musical context of his statement refers to jazz and blues, it can also be said of the seven last words of the unarmed by Joel Thompson in that this piece becomes the embodiment of King's statement. It puts humanity in the words of these men and we begin to see them as real people and not just news reports that make us numb to each other. It is only then that we can move toward triumph as we decide to make the hard realities better. The seven last words of the unarmed. Sorry to talk so much. <laughs> I wanted uh, you to know what the movements are and what the texts are so that you can see um, part of Joel Thompson's genius in putting this together. Movement one, Kenneth Chamberlain. Officers, why do you have your guns out? Movement two, Trayvon Martin. What are you following me for? Movement three, Amadou. Diallo, mom, I'm going to college. Movement four, Michael Brown, I don't have a gun, stop. Movement five, Oscar Grant, you shot me. Movement six, John Crawford, it's not real. Movement seven, Eric Garner, I can't breathe.
and sing by James Weldon and J. Rosamond Johnson. We will now hear from the Morehouse College Quartet.
I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along, just rolling along, because I'm quitting the rules of the world, just singing a song. Hallelujah, I just found the parson. Hey, boy, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I'm ready to fall because I'm sitting on top of the world. Just rolling along, just rolling along. I'm sitting on top of the world, rolling along. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I'm ready to fall because I'm sitting on top of the world. Song. I'm sitting on top of the world. We will now sing two spiritual arrangements. The first is Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho by Colin Lett, and the second is Sooner Will Be Done, arranged by William Dawson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Joshua built the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua built the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. down. My Lord, Joshua built the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua built the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. down. My Lord, you may talk about Gideon, Gideon, you may talk about Gideon, Gideon, there's none like good old Joshua at the battle of Jericho, Jericho, up to the walls of Jericho, 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 march with spear in and spear in and go blow them ram horns, Joshua cried, cause the battle am in my hand. Children to shout and the walls come tumbling down. down. My Lord, that morning Joshua built the battle of Jericho. Yes, Jericho. Yes, Jericho. Joshua built the battle of Jericho and the walls come tumbling down. With the battle of Jericho and the walls come tumbling down.
number will be one I'm told by alumni we've been singing since 19 mid 60s it is entitled Betelehemu it is a Nigerian Christmas song uh, given to us by Babatunda Olatunji class of 54 at Morehouse and he and Dr. Whalen were good friends later on he shared this carol and the rest is history we've been singing it this long it is in Yoruba the part of the translation is, where was Jesus born? Where was he born? In Bethlehem, the city of wonder. That is where our father was born for sure. Betelehemu.
Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the joint Purdue Morehouse Glee Club. Thank you. There's two songs we're going to sing for you uh, to conclude our concert. The first is a song by Edvard Grieg that has become uh, the international kind of calling card for tenor bass choruses across the world. Uh, if you are a member of a tenor bass chorus, you've probably sung this one before. This is Brothers Sing On. Come and let our swelling song mount like the whirling wind. As it beats our singing throng so blithe of heart and mind. Care and sorrow now be gone.
As we bring Dr. Morrow back out to finish our concert, we want to uh, extend a very special thank you to the Morehouse Glee Club in particular for uh, just an amazing concert tonight uh, to allowing us the opportunity to share the stage with you. We have a small token of our appreciation for this collaboration. We hope it isn't the last that we have. It's a signed uh, portrait of our Glee Club that we uh, give fondly to those who have become close friends of ours through song. Uh, and we wish you all the best on your tour. They have a tour that, that continues on for many more days. Uh, we wish you all the best, and thank you all, gentlemen, very much for an amazing day today, uh, getting to spend the time with you. We get a little extra time tonight to have some food and to relish this wonderful occasion, but thank you all very much for joining us today. Finish with the Franz Bibel Ave Maria. Peace. 